Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Vamasetti. Today we'll see top five SQL query intro questions. So these are very, very important. Okay. So first question is that what? So they'll use select a case when null equal to null, then correct, else false. This is the conditional statement. So you should know null concept. See, null cannot be equal with null. So this is false statement. So this is not correct. So answer will be L that is false. So because Null can be compared by using is null and is not null concept. So this is false condition. So one null cannot be equal with another null. Same thing, second condition is second question is that one. So D code of one comma, two comma, three, four comma, five, six. So the answer is six because this is a D code is a key value. I'll explain it. See? Okay, see? So this is the conditions. Two is the key and three is the value. So four is the key, five is the value. So second condition failed, first condition failed, second condition go to the else part, that is six. Okay, answer is six. Okay, suppose if it is one, here one, the answer will be three. If it is four, if it is four, the answer will be five. Okay, so so this is else condition, that is six. Same thing, so I want to print five times snowflake. So by using what? By using connect by level, we can able to make it then. Okay, so select a snowflake from real, connect by level, less than or equal to five. Okay, same thing, sum of positive and negative numbers. Okay, see, so this is a column. In this column, we're having positive values and negative, that is 40 and minus 30. So we can go by using sum and case function. Okay, so case when ID greater than zero, then ID. Same thing when ID less than zero, then ID. So I want to get positive value. Negative value. So this is important concept. Okay. So they want to get, they want to find separately the positive value and the negative value. In a similar fashion, so select the province from DM union of select one from DL. So this is string and this is number. So it will throw error. Okay. So getting the points are see same data type should be. So this is where care and this is number. It won't work. Okay. So we log into the application and we can able to see one more time. Okay. So Okay, first condition, select the case when null equal to null, see answer will be false. Suppose if I put null is null, we'll get output as, output as correct. Okay, so because null cannot be equal with null. Okay, see, same thing, go for second condition, so output will be six. Okay, so how, how to do this value, see, two comma three, like this way, for understanding purpose, put like this, okay, now. Take the same thing, now try to exit. If I put, so this is the key and this is the value. Suppose if I put two, now two to matching, out will be three. Okay, suppose if I put four, so four, four matching, see four, four matching, so key will be four and value will be five, so out will be five, okay. Suppose like I put something like 40, so 40 is not, I'll go to the else, else is six. Same thing, next step is that what? Print five times snowflake, okay, see? We can able to put select star from DL. It will give one record. Now what happened, one record. Now require is that what, okay, so we should go for connect by level. Connect by level less than or equal to five. Now what happened, five times X will be printed. Okay, so same thing, we put something like one. So five times one will be printed. Now I want to print, so Praveen, five times. Okay, so this is one compulsory question they're asking. Okay. So now requiring is that what? I want to print five times the snowflake. Okay, so put one column alias. Okay, see, we can have the same thing. Go for sum of positive and negative numbers. So select star from, so test is one table. Okay, now you're having 10, 30 minus. Okay, now what happened? We should go for condition is case when ID greater than zero, then ID. Okay, see, yeah, now see this thing, what happened? I'm taking only positive values. Same thing, go back here. Come on, same. Is when ID less than zero, then, okay, same thing. Now what happened? I want addition, I should go for what? Sum, okay, sum of the same value, the so sum, okay. So I want to get 40 and minus 30. Okay, so give one proper number, like positive value and a negative is a column alias. Okay, see, sum of positive and negative. So very, very important concept. Same thing, last one is that one. So Pravin is, this is a Pravin. So this is one. Okay, now what happened? Now see the same thing. 
Now saying what? Okay, expression must have same data type as corresponds. So this is string and this is now suppose like if I put something like k okay, now. So this is a string, this is a string. Both are same data type, it will work without any issue. Same thing if I put something like one here, something like one without any it'll work. But what happened? So one is number, other one is string, it will throw error. So rule is that what? If you want to perform compulsory, same number of okay, same number of columns and same data types. Expression must have same data type as corresponding. Obviously, okay, like this. These are very, very important. If you are attending for any type of interview, these questions are important. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.